Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting this simple and easy seascape with peach and this time we won't be using any masking fluid or white gouache but just white of the paper. I have prepared some colors. This is a mix of azure and turquoise blue. The darker one is indigo and this one is Mars brown. I'll be also using some other colors but we'll see. Also, I will be trying to use as larger brushes as possible because I don't want to fuss around any particular details, just want to paint it quite simply and quite loosely. For the sketch, I'm just sketching the part where the wave is touching the beach, also where the part the white part of the wave, the foam starts and the part in the middle of my sea where the foam is also. Those are just my simple guides for painting this painting. I'm starting off with the beach, which I'm painting in Mars Brown. I do like Mars Brown for that because that is an earthy color and it is quite granulating so when it dries it just leaves those beautiful granulations well it does look a little bit sandy and beachy so i think that is the perfect color for the beach but of course if you don't have mars brown you can use just a mix of maybe burnt sienna and raw sienna maybe add some burnt umber just basically any lighter brownish color it's it would be just fine after painting that beach, I, as you can see, I did not try to make it one perfect same wash, but I did paint it, I did move my brush around, did some round strokes, because I did want that uh, diversity in my beach and texture, and so that is the reason why I did not do just horizontal strokes, to give it one even wash, but painted it in every stroke possible going upwards downwards left right just to make it a little bit more interesting also at the edge i did add a little bit of sepia to paint in the darker part and also in the middle part of my beach and when i added just a little bit water to the beach it moved my colors and it did leave that nice and beautiful transition as you can see right now on the left side after I finished with that part, I turned around my paper because that is actually easier for me to paint when it's on the right side for some reason than uh, when it's on the left side. So I did turn around my paper and paint it in the sea. And first I'm using mix of turquoise blue and I think that's azure. Yes, that's azure. And I did not really wet my brush a lot, just slightly and then wiped it onto my tissue paper. And also I did not add too much color, too much water into my pigment. So I'm just doing dry brushing technique. I did not prevent the paper, but I'm just going around again with my brush and smudging it and starting in the part where I did do want a little bit more pigment and just going into the parts where I want the less pigment because you know the paper will pick up the pigment on one part a little bit more and when I go into that white it won't have so much pigment on it and it will leave those beautiful dry brush strokes. So also I'm adding a little bit of emerald green here and there and you can see I'm just leaving all the time that white foam white and also the part in the middle of the sea also white because I do want that part also to look as though there are some foams. Also I did not paint the entire uh, area other sea area I did leave some white parts because again I do want that diversity I do want some some of the parts to look as though there is a little bit more white and well, that still is wet. I did pick up some indigo and this time I'm using a brush that can hold a little bit less water and also has a pointy tip to add in some indigo color here and there to make it look as though there is a difference in the bottom of the sea. Some parts are maybe a little bit darker, there are maybe some uh, life forms there or whatever, just adding a little bit darker parts, especially on the part where that foam is and also as you can see I'm just not making those uh, those darker parts in any particular pattern just where I find it fit I add a little bit of that indigo color. One more thing I wanted to mention to you is that 
for this painting you should be using a little bit more textured paper this is the cold press paper i'm using the rough paper would be also fine but just hot pressed smooth paper would not be actually good for this painting because you know dry brushing technique just works hard on that sort of painting and you need a little bit texture to pick up the paint and to keep that paint and to make that well to make it easier for yourself to do some dry brushing techniques so the more textured your paper is this is actually better for this painting also i am now using a little bit of that indigo quite watered down just a little bit a little bit of pigment to paint in some you know shadows in the foam because it if if we just leave it completely white it wouldn't be believable it wouldn't look believable at all but just add in some shadows and as i said i'm using quite light indigo for this and just again i did not prevent i do paint it on a dry paper and well, I will be also adding a little bit more of that mix of turquoise blue and azure also in that part, just to make it look as though there that foam is just not one big blotch, but actually, you know, there is some sea peeking through also some bottom and well, I believe that would make it a little bit more believable. So I did want to do this painting. I did want to do it without uh, masking fluid or white gouache because I wanted to show you that that is also possible. And if you don't have a masking fluid or white gouache, you can absolutely paint the sea and the foam. You just have need a little bit practice. So if you're not sure or certain at this point to paint something like that, just try use your brush and your paper that you have that it is actually textured and try to do those dry brush strokes try to start from one part of the paper and you will see there will be more pigment and more paint onto your brush and when you first press it onto your paper it will leave a little bit bigger blotches of paper but that is fine that is that is okay just then go in one side on the right side and you will see how when you go on that side there is less and less pigment in your brush and there is less and less pigment also on your paper so maybe first try a couple of those strokes try to see how your paper works and then try into painting this painting also when I finished my with my sea for now I moved on again to the beach and at first I painted the shadow beneath my beneath the wave beneath those that water that is going onto the beach and also this uh, this is quite stiff brush i really do like it it's actually a uh, acrylic brush but it's perfect for this because those bristles are quite stiff and i can very much control my splatters with that so i am using it at first i added a smaller lot of smaller splatters and then just going slower and press pressed it a little bit harder to add in those darker ones and bigger ones and also more of them on one part and I did want it, that one part of the beach to be a little bit more darker like maybe some dirt on the beach or stones or whatever I don't believe that the beach could be just one same similar you know color similar wash it's it doesn't look very realistic right so also i've decided to add in a little bit more details to the foam now that the first layer dried i uh, have my shadows were too same too similar so i did want to add a little bit more a couple of darker ones there and did that again with some indigo color and this round brush again that can hold a little bit less water and for those details i do believe that that sort of brush is a better solution also when that when my beach dried i wanted to add a little bit more of the pigment to the you know to the, that part of the beach that is nearer to my water so i've added it again a little bit more of that bra mars brown and with that i finished this painting and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching i hope you liked it and maybe you will give it a try you can just see that there is possible to paint the foam without the masking fluid or white gouache absolutely possible so if you do like it please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel that would really really mean a lot to me and i hope i'll see you next time bye